Okay. Do you have any idea on you? Uh, no. Have I done something wrong? Um, it's a little suspicious of someone taking pictures of license plates leaving a secure okay. building. Is that a misdemeanor, a felony? No, it's suspicious. Okay. So why do I need ID? Hey folks, welcome back to our channel where we talk about individual rights and what we all need to do for our community. Today's video comes to us from a new channel by the name of Dustin Johnson. In this video, he is pulled over by a Lake Ozark police officer for failure to use a turn signal at a roundabout. This is a quick interaction, so let's check it out and discuss some of the details after. And folks, I've been using these cameras for a few months, and I can't tell you how much peace of mind they've brought to my family. So if you're serious about home security, I highly recommend them. Link in the description below. You can get them at 30% off if you buy now. Now let's check out the video. So this is my second time this week getting pulled over for uh, violations. Mm -hmm. I guess this time was because my uh, license plate isn't properly displayed. I'm guessing uh, going down a gravel road, maybe one of the screws shook loose or something. Uh, however, the... the uh, police officer told me that I failed to signal um, going into a roundabout which there's only one way to go into a roundabout so why would I need to signal a lane change whenever that's the only direction to go we're going to leave the recording going on see how the rest of this stop plays out because pulled over right now supposedly for not signaling that when we were going around a roundabout we didn't turn our blinker on to go around the roundabout when obviously there's only one way to go around the roundabout but it, that's just my thought oh and then our license plate I guess isn't properly attached or something <laughs> do I have to let them know that I have a gun in the car do I have to let them know that I have a gun in the car Well, I looked it up and it said in Texas you don't have to let them know. Is it just hanging on by one screw back there, boss? Is that what's going on? Yeah. I live on a bumpy gravel road. That's probably what happened. Okay. I'm not worried about it. Is it flathead or can you tell from both of them? I didn't look. I'll, I'll jump back here right now and fix that stuff as soon as we wrap Okay. Wrap Would up. you consent to a search of your truck? Or? No, sir. Okay. You guys have a better day? Uh, can I ask it? Did you profile me because of the way the back of my truck looks? I don't right profile now? people, sir. Well, why would you ask to search my truck then? Why would I ask to search? Mm -hmm. I ask almost everybody that I stop to search. Okay. okay. Just, is that is that department procedure? Just your, just your personal preference? So you guys have any questions? Nope. So everybody you stop, you ask? We don't have no more questions. I don't have no more questions. Okay, no, you guys have a better day, okay? Hey, you too. Thank you. He asked everybody he stops if he can search their vehicle. No reason, just mind if I search your truck, which I've got a lot of stuff in the back of my truck. Don't get out. Well, I'm gonna get out and fix my license plate here. We'll see what's going on. Lake Ozark PD at their finest. And you can see the back of my truck, look. So if I guess if I was a police officer, I would say the back of my truck kind of looks, you know, trashy i mean i've got boat seats some you know let me see if i can turn this around some fishing rods you know just an old trunk just just junk you know but uh they said that my license plate was was uh, not displayed properly not really sure how that's not properly placed i am missing a screw but she's not hanging down come on guys you can do better than that I seen him pull out. He, he rode my blind spot for about three miles. He profiled me. Don't be a clown, dude. Do your job. So in the end, Dustin didn't get a ticket and was free to go after refusing to let the cop search his car. In Missouri, you're not legally required to tell an officer if you've got a gun in the car during a routine traffic stop. If this couple had mentioned the gun, the cop would have probably had them step out and search the car. And honestly, that's where things can get tricky because the moment you voluntarily give up information or consent to a search, you're giving the officer more control over the situation. 
I know, it sounds messed up, but this is why you shouldn't just hand over your rights by agreeing to anything if you haven't done anything wrong. Dustin did a great job calling out the officer's shady tactics. Some cops will ask every driver if they can search their car, hoping people don't know their rights. And the ones who aren't aware? Well, they're left vulnerable to all kinds of abuse, like having drugs planted in their car or getting their belongings seized. This happens more often than people realize, and it's all part of what's called policing for profit, where officers target people just to take their money or assets. This is why it's crucial to know your constitutional rights and always record your interactions with police. Folks, one tip for you. You have the right to refuse a search if the officer doesn't have a warrant or probable cause. And if they insist, you can calmly say, I don't consent to any searches. It's your right, and you've got to protect it. So, if you want to stay ahead, make sure to educate yourself and always, always record your police encounters. It's your best defense. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips like these. You're out taking pictures of vehicles that are coming in out of the parking lot? Yeah, I'm standing out in public taking pictures. Okay, why are you taking pictures of vehicles? Just because I'm standing out in public taking pictures. Okay, do you have any idea on you? Uh, no. Have I done something wrong? Um, it's a little suspicious that someone's taking pictures of license plates leaving a secure okay. building. Is that a misdemeanor or a felony? No, it's suspicious. Okay. So why do I need ID? Because we need to know who you are. Mm, I don't think so. If I've not committed a crime, I'm not giving you ID. 3 I'm 23. You started, George, and you heard the subject's refusing to provide ID or identify himself. Can you see me on, please, sir? Yeah, sure. I have no weapons. I have, none, I have nothing on me. Okay. I have my phone in this pocket. That's it. Like I said, I'm out in public taking pictures. That's right. it. Right. But again, you're taking pictures of people leaving police vehicles. Okay. Police vehicles from a police parking lot. Okay. That's suspicious. Is it suspicious? Is that a crime? It's not a crime. Okay, it's so then. Am I free to go or am I being detained? You're being detained right okay, now. Okay, can you tell me the crime? We're detaining you because of your suspicious activity. Is that a crime? Okay. Am I being detained or am I free to, to go? some sort of idea. Am I being detained or am I free to go? You're not free to go right now. Okay, no. so I'm being detained. Can you articulate a crime? We don't know that you haven't committed a crime Okay, yet. so once you figure that out, I'll provide an ID. Until then, am I free to go? No. Okay, so then I'm just going re to remain silent then. I also need your name and badge number, please. Sure. Officer Britton, 2085. Your name, badge number, sir? Detective Forbrook, 2081. Thank you. Ma'am? Detective Codes, 2181. Thank you. And your name, sir? Not giving it. Oh, okay. Would you feel comfortable in online line of work if you had I'm not answering result? any of your questions. Who's the George? You know the phone? Someone's in route, quick. Huh? Someone's in route, I'm not sure who. can make this a lot easier if you would just explain what you're doing here and let us know who you are. Sir, I told you I am out taking pictures in public. That's what I'm doing. Right. I uh, walked all around the Civic Center taking pictures. This is the most advanced place in the all of Surprise. I went to take pictures. I'm a photographer. Okay. I am understand. I not allowed to do that? The information I was given was that you were standing outside of our gate. I was. Okay. Is that illegal? I was on a public sidewalk. I never sure. entered your facility. If you if you were a police officer, I'm not a police officer. If you were, I'm not. Would you find that concerning? I would. I, I don't understand what you're trying to say here because a person standing on public facility. Can I ask you a question? You can ask me anything you want. I'm not going to answer, but you can ask. I don't know why we're being. I mean, we're just trying to talk here. Okay. Right? If you're, this is not a consensual encounter. First of all, I didn't ask for help. I don't need help. I'm standing here taking pictures we in have public. Detecti detectives and police officers and other people leaving a secure facility and vehicles okay. that are assigned to us. Some people work as in undercover capacities okay. and we have a person out recording those as they're leaving vehicles. Okay, how do I know that? Well, how do we know who you are? You don't how know do who I am. That you're not a threat to us? Or well, if I was a threat to us or a threat to you, would I be out here in an orange vest? Not trying to hide anything. I didn't run from you. I stood Correct. here right when you called me. I'm not trying to run. I'm not a threat. I'm no threat. I have no weapons. I would show you, but I'm afraid that if I reach for my hip, something bad would happen. Well, I'm not going to do that. I have no weapons. I have no ill intent. If you reach for an ID and let us... Well, I don't have an ID and wouldn't show it to you if I did, because again, I have not committed a crime. If you can articulate a crime, I'll provide an ID. Until then, am I free to go? You're not free to go at this time. So no. I'm being detained. It's investigative I'm, unlaw I'm being unlawfully detained. Yes or no? You're detaining no, you're me unlawfully. Being, you're not being unlawfully Sir, you're right unlawfully now. detaining me. Do you, ha do you suspect me of a crime? Suspicious activity, that's legal grounds to detain you. Do, no, it is not. Do you, do you, do you, do you, 
if I have committed a crime. Read the law. You have not suspected me of committed a crime. I've committed no crime. You have no idea that I'm going to commit a crime. You're Therefore, you have no, no RAS. I don't have to explain anything to you. Extremely suspicious I have to explain to you nothing. You really do when you're taking pictures. I don't have to explain anything to you. When standing in a public space, anything I can see from public, I can take pictures of. That is my First Amendment right to do. And there's nothing that you can do to stop that. And you can't make a lawful activity suspicious. I'm sorry. If it makes you uncomfortable, find a new line of work. Because I'm not going to stop taking pictures because it makes you uncomfortable. I'm sorry. So unless, again, I'm, I'm being detained, I would like to be free to go. So is that the rationale? You're just trying to make us uncomfortable? I'm not trying to do anything. I'm trying to take pictures in public. You came out. Pictures if that of made, people's license plates? How do you know I took pictures of people's license plates? I can walk down the street and see a license plate. What does that mean to anything? See, I'm turning over to this guy right here. Look, he's got a license plate. What does that mean? I can walk by and see a license plate. That information is not accessible to the public. I don't know what, you're, what this means. I can't look up somebody's license plate online and get anything from that. I think you're being a little disingenuous if you don't think this Sir, is a little suspicious. Or our license person. plates, our license plates accessible or to the a public. A person wouldn't find this a little okay. suspicious. Okay. Well, I don't care if they find it suspicious because suspicious is not illegal. And again, am I being detained? You are. Okay. You're not free to leave right now. Okay. Well, then I'm going to remain quiet. I'm not answering any more questions. Okay. First Amendment protected activity, and they find it suspicious, everyone. So I'm going to reach for my phone, and that's it. All my phone's in my pocket, okay? Nice and slow. You got it. Just a cell phone. Now you're going to be live streamed. So again, am I being detained or am I free to go? You're being detained at this time. Okay. Can you articulate a crime? The reason we're detaining you is because you're conducting suspicious activity. Is that a crime? Yeah. We don't know that yet. You're okay. refusing to speak to us. I, I am not refusing to speak to you. I said I'm out taking pictures in public. You're refusing to provide any kind of ID. I don't have to, to provide an ID if I'm not suspected of a crime. That is a law, sir. It's a First Amendment protected activity. If you'd like to eliminate the possibility of, in our minds, that you're committing suspicious activity. I am. Activity. A suspicious hey, activity is doing? not a crime. How are you doing? I'm Hi. Robertson. Can I have your name? Uh, I, I, I've I've badge already number, identified please. myself. Your Lieutenant badge Robertson? number, please. 2029. Thank you. All right, you can go ahead and leave. But you have to realize that it does look suspicious. I, I don't have to realize that, sir. I'm you glad don't? you said I can leave. Have a good day, sir. Thank you. All right, let's start with the lieutenant. Here's something you really need to get. You've got to train your officers better so they know that simply standing around and taking pictures is not a crime. And as for Officer Britton, the one who messed up big time, I hope you watch this video and feel embarrassed. Like seriously, how clueless do you have to be to think that filming license plates is illegal? And how do you even get to the point where you think a citizen snapping photos in public is automatically suspicious? Take this for example. Imagine someone is standing on a sidewalk, taking pictures of a park or the sunset. Totally normal, right? Now, imagine an officer walks up demands ID, and treats that person like they're some kind of criminal just because they're holding a camera. It's ridiculous. But that's exactly what happened here. And to make it worse, you went ahead and detained the person and demanded their ID without any real reason. How bad do you have to be at your job to assume someone's guilty for just existing in public? I wouldn't be surprised if this is just your usual routine, violating people's rights left and right in Surprise, Arizona, thinking you're in the clear. But guess what? Once you end up on YouTube, your bad behavior is out there for everyone to see forever. And I hope you get so many complaints that you have to be extra careful with every step you take. As for DCW, you handled it like a pro. Staying calm and professional while asserting your rights is the perfect way to expose this kind of nonsense. Keep doing what you're doing. Now you're over here shining a flashlight, let me finish what I was saying, into my apartment i'm in here taking care of christmas gifts watching the ufc fight you guys come over here banging like a bunch of fucking animals no one called 911 you're giving me a hard time they said there was a 911 from whose cell phone what cell phone number do you have it on record or file or anything Seven, three, two, nine, nine, four, zero. Zero. number is that it's no one's phone number here all right let's get this sorted out then so we've got to come back all right. What do you want to sort out? What have so we not sorted sort it out? We sort it. It's a landline, okay? Okay, no, there's no landline here. There's landline but there's here. still one registered to this house. So what do you want me to do for you? So there, we solved with a 911. Okay, so get 
f out now. Sir. No, no, sir. You just slammed the door at me. Get the f out of the house. You don't close the door on the police. I don't give a f You have no right to enter. We do, actually. No, you don't. Do. It's a warrantless entrance, so get the f out. Get out. What's your name? Get out. I'm not giving you nothing. Get out. Yeah, you're not gonna get it. Get out. Have I committed a crime? Am I suspected of committing a crime? I have a Fourth Amendment right, bro. Don't trample my rights. You're not gonna get ID. Sir, you do have a right. Let's go. We need your name so you can. Not gonna it. get it. You want us to record that we were out here? What happened? Not gonna get it. Okay, so when they call 911 again, you want them to come knock you on your door again. I want to record that we came here, we spoke with you, we confirmed that everyone in the house not going to get it. Nobody's number. Not going to give it. That is no longer not going to give you my information because of what you did with the door. Take your pompous prick ass, both of you, get the fuck out of the house. That's it. You pissed me the fuck off when you tried trampling in here. You banging on the door like a bunch of fucking animals. Came in here oh, trying to I throw your fucking fictitious authority around. Walking into my house without a fucking warrant. Get the fuck out, both of you. We need your name, sir. I'm not giving you nothing. Get out. Sir, this doesn't have to be a bigger issue than it is. I'm leaving, so. 241, can you provide an update? I'm not giving you nothing. We don't want to be an issue. Name and badge number. 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 What, what do we got? Name and badge number. He went to close the door on my face. He's pissed off to push the door. Okay. And now he won't give us his name. Who else is upstairs? Girlfriend and roommate. Everyone. Nobody here. It's a landline. Everything's good. We're just trying to get his info. I want you to go. I'm not going to give any of you my information. You're not scaring me. Oh, they're all saying that's just the freedom. Everyone's saying they're fine. The number does come back to a landline. They don't have a landline here. Okay. <clears throat> Did you, would you do that, like, triple play thing and just not hook the phone? I'm not answering any questions. Please get out of my house. You understand why we're here, right? I don't care why you're here. Get the f*** out. Okay. Turn that off. So let Turn me, that light off. Let me explain this to you. Say, Jesus Christ. There you go. You see. How many of you does it take to see? Sir. Where do you want to look at? Can I explain something to you? I don't want to hear you what have, you have to you say. Have people you care about, I right? don't care. Please exit my house. Do you have people you care Please about? exit my house. Sir. You're not one of them. Exit my house. Very well. Get so out of my house. You, no, no. So look at it. If you send them out, I'll speak to you. All get right. them the f out of here. Back out, let me talk. Get the f out of here, you especially you. Have you a nice night, sir. Right. Get out of my house. Sir, talk to me. Sir. All right. Get him the f out of my house. Step right there, that's fine. All right. Can they shut the door? Get him out of my house? Shut the door with me. Yeah. Well, okay. that, I got nothing to say to you. So, listen, I got nothing to say to you. This way, right? Just listen to me like this. Do you see what I'm saying? Sir. I have nothing to say you to you. You have people you care about, right? Get them out of my house. Sir, I'm sir, I'm trying to read Shut my so door. They, they can't oh. shut the door with me. Well, then you could all go sir. yourselves. Sir, just all go sir. yourselves. I got nothing sir. to say. You're not going to get ID. Sir, I don't want to hear sir, an explanation or nothing. Here, That's fine. Not I'm not going to touch you. I'm unarmed. Sir, it's, it's just I got no phone. I, okay. I have a cell phone. Jesus Christ. If you're that afraid, you shouldn't sir. be police. Get the f out of my house. Sir, what? Let me talk to you, please. Then get them out of my house. They are all literally. Shut. Out of he house. has literally one foot in okay. my house. He'll take his foot out of the door. Get his foot out of the door. Okay. I'm gonna be that fucking petty. Get your. Okay. He's still in there. Okay. Get He'll him out. His foot, and then we'll talk. Okay. okay. Then get him to move his foot. Listen to me. Get him to move his foot. Okay. So Jesus, so private fucking property, right? This so how they act. When we get 911 calls, we have to go. Uh huh. Right? You have people you care about. If something bad happened to them and we responded, uh -huh. you would want us to do everything we can to make sure they're okay, right? You guys are thugs. I don't I, I, right. I don't think you would do anything. So if somebody did something here- I respect Edison. Injured, I don't respect North Brunswick. We have a duty to make sure no one is injured. That dude hit me with the fucking door. Look at that on my fucking arm. Sir. Hit me with the door. Is, your, is, is, your, is that on? Yes, it is. Hit me with the door. Sir. Look at it on your camera. Are you interested in get that? Have get, to say? get them over here. No, I, I want you to get the f out of my house. I was having a great night watching the UFC fight, taking care of fucking Christmas gifts. You guys are banging here like a bunch of fucking animals. I don't want to hear what you have to say. I want you all to take your pompous gang related activity asses and get the f off private fucking property. None of you live here. Nobody's talked about any of that. I'm trying to I, okay, well, I'm now I'm talking about it. Please exit. What do you want from me? This is my boss, sir. Keep, keep him away from me. 
I don't want you touching me, dude. You don't know what's going on, sir. Yeah, this is all. Sir, you just sitting just here, got a bang on the. I have an internal affairs complaint on one of the sergeants, and now shit happens. This is retaliatory. This is another one going to internal affairs. I'm telling you, you guys don't know how to quit. Any of you. Can I explain to you what's going on? I want you guys to leave. I don't Can care. You they don't, don't care. care. They don't care. No on? one cares. We want you out. Why I don't understand, you like, you, you guys can't take a f***ing hint. Man, you think you have a right to push my f***ing door in. Your, your, your cops pushed my door, hit me with the door. I want to hear it. We came out here to investigate a 911 hang-up. Okay, did anybody call? Have you, have you figured that out? No, we haven't. Uh, okay, so what do you have to figure out? <laughs> what do you have to figure out? If anybody was in need of assistance, man. No. Does anybody need assistance? I have zero need for assistance. Perfect. I'm trying to go back and finish watching this movie. Exactly. All right. So can you please? Yeah. Please, okay, please go. Perfect. Have, have a good day. Have Take go care. Go. Take care. Bye. Have a good day. Man, this kind of situation is frustrating on so many levels. First off, it's completely understandable why the guy would be upset. You're chilling at home, minding your own business, and suddenly there's a group of cops at your door insisting there's been a 911 call when you know there wasn't. The guy did the right thing by calmly explaining that no one called and that he and his girlfriend were fine, but the officer refusing to leave and demanding to see everyone in the house, that's where it starts feeling like harassment. There's a fine line between doing your job and overstepping, and in this case, the officer clearly crossed it. Shining a flashlight into someone's home after being told to stop is invasive. The guy had already given them the information they needed. There was no call, and no one was in danger. At that point, the officer should have backed off. Instead, they escalated the situation, calling for backup and bringing in six more officers. For what? To intimidate the man into complying? This whole thing just feels like an abuse of power. The officer made a decision to treat this guy as guilty of something when there was no evidence to suggest otherwise. It's like they forgot about the Fourth Amendment, the right to be secure in your own home without unreasonable searches or seizures. Unless there's clear evidence of an emergency or crime, police shouldn't be forcing their way into someone's space. It's also worth mentioning that situations like this are how trust between police and communities gets destroyed. When officers refuse to respect boundaries and push too hard without cause, it makes people feel like they're being targeted, not protected. Instead of de-escalating, this officer just made the situation worse. It's moments like these that show why it's so important to know your rights, stand firm, and record everything if you ever end up in a similar spot. Hello, sir. Hey, uh, uh, can I see an ID? 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 Yes, sir. Your ID. So, um, sir, um, I, I need to see your ID, please. Uh, I, I, yeah, I need to see your ID. You can't see my ID because. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's that's the reason why I need to see your ID. I think it's a little bit odd that uh. We're just walking down a public road, and you pull over to uh, to uh, start a casual conversation. Yeah. And since you're, you know, dressed in the costume that you're in and yeah. driving what well, you're driving, I'm gonna have to see your ID. Well, I mean, I was stopping because you waved me down. I didn't wave at anybody. Okay, if that's what that's fine. I I mean, like what everybody drives by all day. I, do you want me to stand here and? And nobody will say. stop, and everybody will wave back at me. And we'll see. Like I'm not going to take any directives from you. I'm going to have to see your ID. Okay, uh, um, well, um, um, I'll stop that. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. We, we we know all of it. Uh, um, um, uh, uh, ID. I'm not asking for 
you're out there because I don't need it. Right? Exactly. But see, since people... you're driving around in the particular costume that you're, you're in and, 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 and the vehicle that you, you're in, okay. you, you know, it's, it's a little bit weird, you know, to me that, that you just stop two people that are walking down on a public road. Or, you, you know, yeah. ID. Uh, uh, um, Coulter, uh, uh, do you have a dog tag number? Talking about my unit number? Yeah, yeah, 210. dog tag 210. Okay, yeah. that, that's what I... Do you remember? Because the other one was 211. Yeah, yeah, right. All right, y'all good to go? I'm not good to go. I'm, I'm totally not... Neither are you. I'm not good to go. Neither are you. You have to show me your ID. You know, so, so you're gonna, so you're gonna, you're just gonna leave, and you aren't gonna show me your ID. Yep. Here we go, Officer Culture of the Lafayette Police Department. I'm not gonna back down. I'm not gonna back down. I'm not gonna back down. I have nothing to. I'm not doing anything wrong. I have a camera. All I'm doing is exercising my First Amendment right that you guys took a note to. You guys should know that I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not doing anything wrong. Just walking by, filming. But we already, you already said that. There's no need to keep saying the same thing. There's no need to keep saying the same thing. You already said it's a security issue. I understand that. I'm not doing anything wrong. Hi, how you doing, sir? How's it going, man? What's going on? Okay, so let me just tell you. I was just narrating. I came from that, that corner. Right. I walked around. I, I was at that corner. All I was doing was filming the flag. I was fil filming the building. Okay. I came around. Why are you filming? I'm just doing that. I'm just documenting. I'm doing a documentary. What type of documentary? Well, if you really, really want to know, it's called the First Amendment Audit. You guys probably see it on, on, the, on YouTube. No, I haven't. Okay, well, basically what we do is we go around to any places that are tax funded by taxpayers. Okay. And we go around, we film. That's it. Do you have a permit to film? Do I need a permit if, I'm, if, it's, if it's a First Amendment, it's my First Amendment protect, it's a First Amendment protected activity. I need, a, I need a permit for that. Why are you filming though? I just told you. For what documentary? I have a YouTube channel. Okay. I have a YouTube channel. All right. Yes. Can you give me a badge number? Because I just like to know who I'm my talking name's, to. My name's Lieutenant Isaac. You're also being recorded by me, so. That's, that's great. That's why I encourage anybody with a camera. We on camera everywhere we go. We had a stoplight. We had a camera. We go to the mall. We go to the supermarket. We on camera. I don't understand the, the big issue. I came over here a year ago. It was the same thing. But nobody said anything to me. After they knew I was recording, nobody said anything. Well, my cop was just asking questions. My understanding is you got upset. I don't understand well, why you got upset. Well, I mean, you, of course you're going to defend her. Of course you're going to defend her. I have everything recorded. You know, it, I have everything recorded too. That's it, it's great. Talking. That's why we have it too. Yeah, but the only thing I'm doing is just, I'm just narrating. I was narrating. That's all I'm doing. That's it. I, this is my, I do this for a living. I have a YouTube channel. Okay. I go to anywhere where, where, where we pay you guys. We pay to have this running. No, this is all these cut. You know, okay, you, you know, after what's going on with the recent precinct shootings and people well, walking, I, being agitated, so you, you have to, you have, you have. No so I, I look like a threat to you. I like a threat to you. I have a camera. I have no ill will. Excuse I'm me, telling you. The former precinct, which I know your camera's recording, the former precinct, someone came in and shot up the place. I just explained to her I got four cops that's in my family. Okay. I had two that died in 9 11. Okay. So I, I, I don't, I don't hate you cop. I don't hate cops. I, I didn't say I, you did. I dislike, I, I dislike the way you guys are aggressive to, to the public. We have to ask questions. Yeah, but when you notice that somebody is not doing anything wrong, why, why would you just watch them and see, okay, if this guy does something, then I'll react. Sir, that's it. I walked you from the corner, that, and I came, when you came over here, I asked him what you were doing. And I said, why are you recording our cars? He said, I'm recording the precinct station house. Well, actually, I, I didn't say that. I said I was recording the flag. I was recording the flag. What I do is I document everything. I document everything. Everything I document. There's no law that says I'm not allowed to film here. Yeah, you can do it. Am I being detained? Am I free to go? Because, I mean, I... Well, you're saying you're going to call somebody, so that means that you're going to call somebody and somebody else is going to come? I'm just asking a... I'm just asking a question, sir. Yeah, you, you can. And I have a lawyer also. I have one of the best lawyers in New York State. I don't... I mean, I don't I don't like to file lawsuits. All I, 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 don't, I don't say anything to anybody. When I do my, my audits... I don't say anything to nobody. The moment that somebody approaches me and engages me, then they become the story. Because I don't talk to anybody. Because I don't want to get charged for disorderly conduct. I know how you guys like to, you know, you know, no, you we, like to. We have security issues in this precinct. But once I told so you what I was doing. That, no, no, it doesn't matter. Okay, so you don't believe me. Okay, so. Listen, someone can say that they're filming the documentary and then pull a gun out. And shoot wow, that's. So I have to make wow. sure our whole precinct. Wow, you guys, you guys, you guys turn something that's so small into something so big. No, that's not how so it's not my First Amendment right. I'm making sure that the cops here are safe.
but it's, it's not my First Amendment right, something that you took an oath to, freedom of the press. He just asked me that I have a permit for it. In the United States of America, we have freedom of the press. That's what we have. Okay, but when you're filming and you're becoming agitated with me. Of course, because the way you approached me, you was all the way over there, right? You can't, I can yes, understand you asking me. This is what I'm protecting. This entire precinct station house. Okay, so what do we. Back, why? I'm protecting okay, the okay, so. Station okay, so. That's my job. That is my job. And this is my job. Today. What I'm doing, I'm just filming. That's all I'm doing. I would have been gone. I walked around here. I would have walked. That's all. You understand that we have people who want to shoot cops. This is how we have to treat every single person that. I mean, you guys kill it. You guys kill innocent people every day. You guys kill and re arrest innocent people every day. So, I, I I don't know. Like I said, I have I have law enforcement in my family. Okay. I have two, I have a cousin so out of Boston who's a who's a me, sergeant. When you so, these law enforcement oh, they see my videos. Video. You you know They're to be honest okay with you, I got a sergeant out of Staten Island, right? I have a sergeant out of Staten Island who who subscribes to my channel. So. I mean, I have you got. I have I have like six thousand people who watch my channel. Okay. Well, because I, I answered your questions, and you just kept on asking, kept on asking. So I I would have I would have I would have left about ten minutes ago, but then. I mean, I did like I said, I did other departments, and it was similar like this. But I had a few other ones. Well, let me just okay, but all of you guys are the same though. You guys follow the same. You guys have the same member in the department that that you don't got. You don't. You guys don't want the public to to record inside. Every department in New York State. That's legal. If you walk into that precinct with a camera and you're recording, you get arrested. That's not illegal though. That's a that's a policy. Is it law? Show okay. Show me the show me the law. Listen, I just spoke to legal. All right, you keep doing what you want to do, which is correct. Come inside the facility is different. We actually have a sign in there. No, I know you have a sign. That's why I explained to her. Oh, on all the like, departments. You, like you just said that. Show me the sign. Show, show me that. No, she said a law. That's a policy. Policy and law is two different things. You get arrested. You're going to of course, because you got because you guys got a policy that that's that's that you guys put in there. Why you guys? Why you guys keep the public out from from from? I'm not. I'm not even in the street. I'm right here. Well, yeah, so if a cop, if a if a car was coming here and it hit me, then you guys are supposed to arrest that person because I'm nowhere near where cars can can hit me, right? Okay. All right, thank you. Oh. The situation emphasizes how crucial it is to know your rights when dealing with the police. You should be aware that you can refuse to show identification if you haven't committed a crime or aren't suspected of one. Although officers can ask for ID in specific situations, understanding your rights and asserting them is important. In the United States, the Fourth Amendment protects people from unreasonable searches and seizures. So, for an officer to ask for your ID, they must have a good reason to suspect you of a crime. If you're not a suspect, you're not legally obliged to show your ID. While it's good to cooperate with the police, it's just as important to safeguard yourself from unnecessary intrusion. You can choose to remain silent, especially if you think your rights might be at risk. If an officer questions you, you can use your Fifth Amendment right to stay silent and avoid saying anything that might get you in trouble. It might feel intimidating to stand up for your rights, especially against a police officer or authority figure. But remember, your rights are there to protect you. By asserting them, you not only defend yourself, but also make sure that law enforcement is responsible for their actions. If you ever think your rights are being violated, try to stay calm and assertive. Keep in mind that you can say no to showing ID, stay silent, and ask for a search warrant if needed. To sum it up, this incident is a strong reminder of why it's important to know your rights and stand up for them when necessary. As citizens, we have the right to shield ourselves from unfair searches and seizures, and it's crucial to assert these rights when needed. Always remember, your rights are meant to protect you, and it's your responsibility to stand up for them. By doing so, you not only protect yourself, but also ensure that law enforcement is accountable for their actions.